What's up, everybody? <laughs> Say hi, Nate. It's my little boy. It's what happens when you shelter in place. You have them in the background. All right. Hi. Hey. All right, so I wanted to make a follow-up video to the one that I just made about possibly off of the, or possibly coming off of the trial for scent and aphidine, uh, which I didn't. Uh, you know, I'm still on the trial, which is good. But, um, hey, hush, hush. But I wanted to make a, a follow-up video to it because, you know, I, I talked a lot about depression and how, you know, I'm 39. I never thought I had depression. I never wanted to think that I had depression. But the reality of it is that I think I probably have had depression since I was in my teenage years. And, um, you know, that being the case, it's, it's sometimes difficult to understand or to, or to notice the symptoms that come along with depression because they're not always the same for everybody. So I wanted to go through a video where, you know, I kind of described my personal experience with these symptoms, how they affected me, and then hopefully you can relate and it'll make sense to you uh, whether or not you need to seek treatment or heck, if you have it, then you can understand that you're not alone and um, there's others that go through these things just like you. So I'm going to list out the symptoms and then we'll talk about them individually. Um, hopelessness, loss of interest, loss of appetite or change in appetite, um, sleep changes, loss of energy, self-loathing, reckless behavior, concentration problems, unexplained aches and pains, anger or irritability. All right, so it's gonna be really interesting. You're gonna see throughout the video as I explain these that a lot of them feed into each other or they're really related to each other, okay? So the first one, hopelessness. Uh, you know, you just feel like there's no hope for the future. Like there's absolutely nothing that you can do that will positively impact the future for you or for your family. I've felt this way. Uh, you know, I'm in sales, okay? So a lot of my job has to do with um, prospecting and reaching out to clients and centers of influence. Well, if, you know, I have felt where, what difference does it make? There's nothing that I can do to positively, positively impact my business. I can't do anything right. Uh, everything's negative. And, 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 and there's a difference between being realistic. You know, some people call it realistic or, or even negative. This is just like a constant belief that nothing you can do is going to go right. Or that there's just no betterment for the future. Like everything's just going to go to crap any second. Um, you know, that's, that's, that's hopelessness and, and it sucks. And if you're hopeless, then you're going to have a loss of interest in the things that you do, uh, your hobbies. If you were, if you had hobbies, you're not going to be that interested in them. Uh, you know, friends and, and social activities, going to parties, um, heck, even, even something like, like having sex with your partner. You just lose interest in that because you no longer want to do things. Um, you just have no, you don't, you just don't want to. Because uh, for what? What's it matter? Like you have no joy. Um, a good word for it, and if you want to research this, is apathy. Apathy. Um, apathy is a big symptom of depression where you just feel empty and like nothing matters, there's no drive, there's no passion, um, there's just nothing, it's just like a void. And that's how I felt over the last three months where nothing in my life really mattered regardless of what I did. So apathy, uh, check that out because that's, that's a really interesting concept or symptom of depression. Um, changes in appetite, you know, you can eat more, some people eat more, some people eat less, I eat less. Like I'll eat one time a day and usually I'll eat crap, uh, McDonald's, uh, McDoubles and, and a small order of a McDouble and a small order of fries and large sweet tea. That's my comfort food. And that's what I go to when I am depressed, when I need to uh, feel better. 
so which is often uh, I eat those a lot <laughs> um, and then of course if you're not um, you know then you're gonna have sleep changes okay some people sleep way more some people sleep way less right they have insomnia I've had insomnia for a long time um, I'll go to bed and I'll put on the covers and then within 30 seconds I'll feel hot so I'll rip them off and then I'll feel cold and I'll put them back on and I'll rip them off and on and off and on and I'll toss and turn and I can go on like that for three four hours just laying in bed increasingly getting more and more frustrated and eventually I get up I go watch TV until three four in the morning finally fall asleep and by the time I wake up it's time to take the kids to school right not now obviously but um it's time to either take the kids to school or start doing things for my job and i have no desire no interest why because i've got a loss of energy because i haven't slept and i haven't been eating well that's another symptom right loss of energy you just feel like you're trudging through mud all of the time like you've got a thousand pound weight on you and that is a sickening feeling um I've had days, entire days, where it's just, it feels like, like you can't even take a step because you feel so heavy and so weighed down. And then that comes along with unexplained aches and pains. I mean, it's just, you, you, you don't have arthritis, right? You don't have any muscular issues, you haven't broken any bones, but yet for some reason, you feel pains in your body that... Stop, please. Thank you. Um, you feel aches and pains in your body that, you know, make you feel like a 60 year old person, like a 60 year old man. Um, so those are all symptoms. Okay? Hey, psst, hey, stop, please. He thinks this is a toy. That's fine. Um, all right. So let's go into a couple others here. Self-loathing. Self-loathing is an interesting one because a lot of people, um, they'll feel that, uh, you know, they just absolutely hate themselves and that they have um, that, that, that they can do nothing right no self-worth no self-value and all of that just really brings them down deeper and deeper into that hole where they are and that self-loathing or self-hate okay, obviously lowers your self-confidence makes you feel like garbage but then it also leads you to reckless behaviors gambling addictions, uh, promiscuous sex, um, you know, reckless driving, right? Speeding, going through red lights and stop lights and, and not wearing your seatbelt. So many things that because you don't care about yourself, it doesn't really matter what happens, okay? Um, now, this is an interesting one, okay? Uh, concentration problems. <laughs> so we've got ADHD. We always have concentration problems. So that one in itself <clears throat> isn't necessarily a symptom of depression if you just have that. But if you have concentration problems along with all of these other symptoms, then you possibly have depression, right? Like for example, you're going to have concentra concentration problems if you have insomnia and you don't sleep well. So you can't focus and you can't concentrate um, if you're not eating well, right? If, if, if you don't feel energetic, if you feel hopeless, you're not gonna be able to concentrate on things. So all get, again, the, con, the, 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 the sum of all of these symptoms is what shows that somebody can have depression. <clears throat> and then here's the big one, okay? A lot of people think that depression is just about being sad or mopey or, you know, um, it's not okay a big component of depression can also be anger and that's my case I feel like I'm simmering underneath the surface all of the time like and anything and everything just sets me off I'm irritable um, I snap at my kids I snap at my wife you know that's why I had a breakdown the other day and punched wall holes in the wall because I feel irritable and angry because I hate myself right because I have self-loathing and I feel hopeless and I don't have an interest in things and I can't you know I, I, I feel heavy and, and, and pains and aches and 
it doesn't make you feel well, but instead of making you sad, it makes you angry and frustrated. Those are symptoms of depression. So, um, guys, it, it's a serious, serious, serious issue. Um, it can it can lead to major problems. It can lead to suicide, right? It could lead to to self harm. It could lead to things like cutting yourself. It could lead to addictions, um, drug addictions, alcohol addictions, all of those things that. Uh, just further harm us. So, if you feel any of these symptoms, Benny, okay, that's very nice. If you feel any of these symptoms, please seek help. Okay, seek professional help from a therapist, from a psychiatrist. The faster you do it, the better. If they offer you drugs, take the drugs. They will make you feel better. I promise. Right now, I take Ativan. And it does. If I feel irritable or anxious or, or on edge, I take one and I feel better. Um, and for right now, I need that. And there's no shame in it. If anybody needs to talk, if anybody has questions, feel free. Just post a comment. Reach out to me on Twitter, ADHD exec. Um, reach out to me on, on, on YouTube. We can connect on Facebook. Or heck, I'll give you my cell phone number. So anything I could do, I'm here to help. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. This is who you've been hearing the whole time. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Guys, I'm always here to help. All right, peace.